Okay guys, we're back. We're gonna shoot our second course uh, for our New Year's Eve menu for this year. Uh, saying goodbye to uh, the year that should not be named. Um, so this is our second course. This is our consomme. Um, so our soup course, this does have a pasta in it. So your pasta's still in the freezer. Um, mine is gonna be in this box once I open it, but your pasta should be in your freezer until you're ready to cook it. You have your pasta water boiling. It is seasoned with a little bit of salt. Um, you have your other pans ready to go. And uh, we're gonna open the box and see what's inside. So again, agnoloni, consomme broth, a salad, and a bruma as a vegetable. So, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my agnoloni into my boiling pot of water, and uh, I'm just gonna drop these in. And that's gonna go for seven minutes. So. You don't have to really do anything. You just make sure the pasta is like the, the pot is just rolling oil. Consomme broth. So again, this is duck. We're gonna heat that up. Then we're gonna go to our plate. So you can plate this in any size bowl you have. Um, ideally, it would be a white bowl because, like, the beauty of the consomme is how clear the broth is. You can see everything from uh, your perspective or your guest perspective from the top down. Um, so we did a tiny dice of brunoise vegetables. Um, this has like celery root and um, turnip, rutabaga, carrots, a little bit of cabbage, right to the center. Just let it fall how it, how it might. There's a little bit extra. The soup itself will heat all this up, so you don't have to really worry about that. Um, and then you have your herb salad, which herb salad is like a bunch of different herbs. So it has like dill, chives, parsley, a little bit of tarragon, chervil, and some uh, red bean sorrel. So I like to just this, this, uh, these beautiful flavors will not only make the, the soup look great, but all of these herbs combined will have like just a really terrific flavor. So you kind of cover up your vegetables. And this is only like really important if you're gonna serve this like table side, like I suggest in the uh, directions for this dish. So that it's kind of hidden underneath all of these herbs. I actually want to get a little bit Big sorrel on top, it's nice and beautiful. I'm gonna check my broth, it's coming up to a nice simmer. And then we're gonna go back to our pastas. Typically, once the pasta is done, it, 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 it's floating and it's only floating for a couple minutes. So, once this, these have been up for a little bit, we're gonna gently use a slotted spoon. And this is how I always do this. Like, if you can, you could use like a little plate with a paper towel or I'll use a slotted spoon and I'll just dab it. And then this goes around. One, two. There should be five per order. So if you're making multiples, make sure that you count them out. Five per order. Or one person just gets all of them and somebody gets none. So like once, once you put those in there, you want to kind of go back and just cover up all of that. Vegetables, and then you take your hot broth. So like you want it to be pretty hot. If you have a little um, pouring vessel, like a little teapot or something like that, that would be perfect for this. Um, I'm just gonna go right from my uh, hand. So if you, if you want to pretend that we're at the table and you bring this out, and it's a really nice presentation to just pour this right over the top. So a lot of times, like when we're doing this in a dining room, we, we try to hit one side, but since you're at your own house and you know, you're, you're pouring for everyone, if you're doing multiples, it's really hard to pour. So sometimes I would just serve it in a little cup next to it and just be like, hey, pour it in yourself. Um, we'll pour it right over. And then as you see, like the herbs start to dissipate and the vegetables are all floating in there and you can see everything. It's very beautiful, super clear broth. And that is um, just a really elegant way to have a duck and foie gras soup uh, with winter root vegetables. So that's our second course.
for our New Year's Eve menu. Thank you guys so much.